Hello everyone, I'm back with a new Effect House tutorial. And in my last Effect House tutorial, I show you how to prepare one 3D asset, one 3D character to import here to Effect House and use as a body avatar drive. Okay. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to add a background to your effect. So if I click here in the screen, you're going to see that a background shows up because sometimes the user of your filter don't want to appear, right? So you can use the, the background to cover your face. You're going to see it's very simple. So let's get started. So first let's open a new project. Let's create a project. While it's loading, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Okay. And the first step is going to be to drag here your 3D assets. Okay. I'm going to use this Jinx Pokemon. I'm going to create here the body about the drive here. And now just drag the 3D assets here inside the body avatar drive and automatically it's going to add your avatar to your body. So if you don't want it to cover your body, you can click here in the body avatar drive and uncheck this option. Okay. So it won't follow your body. However, because this 3D object is so big, you can see here in the screen, I'm going to Decrease its size a little bit. Actually, a lot. <laughs> so let me decrease the size. Gonna move it down a little. Okay. And now let's bring the texture you're gonna use as a background. Okay. I'm gonna drag and drop it here. I create this background using uh, AI, I think. I don't remember if it was on Mid Journey or on the Bing one. You know, Bing has a, a AI as well to create images. That's very nice. Okay, I also brought here the texture for our Jinx body. I'm gonna edit here pretty quickly. Okay. So now we just need to add a image background here. So come here to the hierarchy, choose 2D and the screen image. It's going to add this image here, the default image, and let's replace the default texture. Let's replace it for our background. Okay. So because this background is a square, I need to change here the stretch mode. Let me just get out of the way here. Okay. Okay, here in the stretch mode, you're gonna choose fit height. So the image is gonna fill the entire screen, okay, without being stretched. And as you can see, now the image is in front of our body avatar. That's the only little struggle that happens when we try to add a background image here. This happens because the order of render uh, follow this order here. For example, what is in here in the first render group? I'm gonna render first. So in this case, our body avatar is rendering before the image. Okay. So to fix this, we just need to drag this render group on top of the general render group. So now we fix the problem. However, our jinx got too small. I'm not sure why this happened. So let's just fix the size again. Let me bring it down. Okay. And now we have our background. It's that simple. So what I need to do now is create a way to remove and add our background as we click in the screen. Okay. So to do this, let's use here our visual scripting. Okay. In this window here. And let's start by adding right click. Okay. To add a node. Let's add the screen tap. You can use also a screen uh, hold. Okay. So when you hold the screen, the 
background image is going to disappear or appear. Okay, screen tap. Let's also add the visibility, the set visibility node. Okay. And let's duplicate it. So Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And also let's get our image. So select here your background image. And in this little circle here, click on it and get screen image. Now we're going to be able to control the visibility of our image. So first connect the screen image output to the target input here in both set visibility nodes. Okay. The first node is going to be responsible to show the background. So click here in the visibility the visibility on and the second one is going to be responsible for uh, turning off the visibility okay and to control when we want to activate either of these set visibility nodes we're going to use another node called a uh, flip, flip flip flop okay this flip flop node works as a switch okay so connect the screen tab here and every time you re uh, we tap the screen, the output is going to change here. So when I first click the screen, the output is going to be this first one here. Okay. And if I click again, then it's going to be the second output. Okay. So let's connect the first output here in the first set visibility node and the second one in the second node here. Now, when I click on the screen, the background image should disappear. So let me restart here the effect so you can see how it is working. So it is starting with the background on. If you wanted to start off, you have to uncheck this option here. Okay, so it's going to start like this. And after you click on the screen, the background shows up. Okay. And you're done. This is how you can add and remove a background from your body avatar drive filter. Okay. And that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to give that like and comment. Okay. This is my second Effect House tutorial. So if you give a like, how you know that people are enjoying the Effect House tutorials. Okay. So see you next time. Bye.